Hello all, Paul Play Squad Gaming here, and this is our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guard series. We welcome you back with another updated guide, originally introduced in patch 2.0 and revamped in patch 6.1. This is Hawkeye Manor. This is a level 28 dungeon which is part of the main story quest line and is featured during the quest Skeletons in Her Closet. The quest giver is Ursandel in the Old Gridania. With this new update, let's not return but flow straight into the guard. Start this duty heading to the west of the staircase ahead and into the first side room. Here we need to kill the adds and pick up the tiny key in the corner of the room. It is recommended to focus the mana maid servant adds first as they have a large point blank AoE that seduces any player's hit. This can be and should be interrupted to avoid crowd control and damage. Head out of the room and further down the corridor and clear the remaining ad types here. Head around the corner and into the room on your right hand side. Again clear the ads in this room and then use your tiny key on the locked door. Proceed through and engage the mana maid servant in this room. Then pick up the tiny key here as well. To progress through the dungeon head down the corridor though you can explore all the side rooms which are locked. The locked door ahead contains the crafting item fine wax in a treasure coffer. Otherwise continue down the corridor and engage the ads and the patrolling mana maid servant. Also, watch out for the patrol in Mana Sentry ahead. This sentry has two frontal cone AoEs that need to be avoided. Dread Gaze and Level 5 Petrify. Both petrifying players leaving them unable to act. Once the Mana Sentry is down, head through towards boss fight number 1. The Mana Clavager is our first boss. Start this fight as normal with the tank gaining MVT of the boss and facing it away from the party. This is especially important due to a hard hitting frontal cleave, Sweet Steel. This will deal large damage to non-tank party members. For the rest of the fight, the Clavager will rotate this and two other abilities, Void Fire 2 and Dark Mist. Void Fire 2 is a circular AoE focused on a random party member. This can and should be interrupted. While Dark Mist is a point blank AoE, this can be dodged or interrupted with a stun. Dark Mist will seduce players, causing them to lose control for a few seconds, so aim to avoid this AoE. Make sure to keep up the damage and avoid these simple AoEs and before long the Clavager will have been killed. Pick up your loot and the Ivy Key ready to proceed. Once you have the ivy key, head back through the door you entered from and use the ivy key on the ivy door. Jump over the balcony or walk down the stairs to reach the bottom. Clear the new servitor ad types here and pick up the tiny key. Once cleared, our aim is to open the carnation door, but we need the yellow key for this and not a tiny key. We need to head anti-clockwise around the outer edge of this room, clearing all the ads here and opening the final cell we come across. You can open each cell in turn and pick up each small key along the way if you want for some more experience and loot. Once at the final cell, kill the ads in here and pick up the yellow key. Then jump over the barricade and open the carnation door, ready for boss fight number 2. Boss fight number 2 is the Mana Steward and the Mana Jester. Start this fight with the tank gaining enmity of both bosses and then the party focus in the Mana Jester. The Jester deals more damage and should be killed first. The only mechanics we need to be aware of in this fight are the Ice Spikes from the Jester and the Soul Drain from the Steward. This can be interrupted by stunning the Steward or simply by moving out of the point blank AoE to dodge it. Once the Jester is down, focus the Steward until it has been killed. Pick up your loot, the bloody parchment, and proceed through the new ethereal portal. This returns us to the start of the duty. Head up the staircase, use the bloody parchment on the sealed barrier, and then kill the mana sentry on top of the staircase. At 50% health, this fight will end, opening the way to the final boss. Enjoy the short cutscene. Lady Amandine is our final boss. Tell her we love what she has done with the place, then start the fight as normal with the tank gaining enmity and the party dealing damage. Throughout this fight, Lady Amandine will void call a few new adds to the fight. When the sentry appears, make sure to face away from the room wide gaze attack. This will seduce any player facing towards the sentry at the end of the cast and deal damage. The second void call will summon a lady's handmaiden add. This should be focused down quickly. This add will add a poison debuff to the main enmity threat and cast stone skin on Lady Amandine, increasing her defences. Lady Amandine will also use her normal abilities throughout the fight. Dark Mist is a large point blank AoE, stunned to interrupt or dodge this point blank AoE to avoid the damage and seduce debuff. The final void call will summon a sentry at the edge of the room and Lady Amandine will cast Beguiling Mist, which cannot be avoided. All players will be seduced, the party needs to turn away from the sentry as soon as the seduced debuff wears off to avoid any further damage. 
The boss will also use Void Thunder 3. This is a hard hitting tank buster that can and should be interrupted. She will also use Void Fire 3. This can also be interrupted. These mechanics will then rotate until the boss is down. And there you have it, Hawk Manor is complete. Remember to commemorate the player you believe deserves it most and pick up your loot. We give this duty a difficulty rating 2 out of 5 swords, a slight step up in difficulty due to a lot of crowd control. However, this is still a relatively easy duty. The special loot for this duty includes the Manor Scale Weaponry and Equipment, I level 30, the Ethereal Jewelry, I level 28, the Fine Wax Crafting Item and the Succubus Card. Remember to like and comment and if you haven't already, click to subscribe. Up next is the 6.1 update for Brave Flux's Longstop. We are 4 Play Squad Gaming, until next time, thanks for watching.